In this video, we're going to take a look at working with the dirt texture, the fall off texture, and the side texture. So for this video, I'm using the machinery 01.c4dc. This just has the machine in here. So let's go to materials, node editor, let's bring up the node editor. I'm going to click on this yellow material down here to graph it. And let's go into the octane textures here. And in this green section labeled gen for generators, let's click on dirt. And I'm going to plug this directly into the diffuse channel. So this is essentially like a ambient occlusion. Let's uh, redo the render here. There we go. Um, so if I zoom in here, what you'll see is it's mostly white, but you can see little areas of gray here. And so if I go into the dirt texture and I'm going to start to increase the strength, you can see that gray area becoming more prominent. I can also increase the details, bring out the details in the surface. The more I increase it, the more you'll actually see the faceting on the surface, depending on if it's been uh, subdivided or not. But that's what the details does. You can certainly see it right here. And then, of course, the radius controls the spread. So it's essentially calculating ambient occlusion, meaning the occluded parts of the surface, or so those nooks and crannies, are going to get more shading or a dark color, and the exposed areas are getting more of a light color. This is great for adding dirt and dust into your surface. Of course, you can plug it into more complex shader networks, like if you're using it with a mixed texture, you could plug this into roughness to add sort of a uh, dust or a dirt kind of quality to it, or even the diffuse or the sheen or whatever. So there's lots of possibilities for using the dirt texture as a way to uh, add more interest or visual interest to your materials. So now let's take a look at the fall off texture. I'm going to disconnect the dirt texture here. And I had this RGB spectrum texture already. So let's make this just a straight up red. And let's create another one. And we'll make this one green. So you got a red color, green color. And I'm going to go down here and create a mix texture, which is going to be a way to blend these two colors together. So we'll put the red color into texture one, green color into texture two. And let's find the fall off texture. Drag this on here. And I'm going to put this into a mount and then plug the result into diffuse. So what you see here is a mostly red texture, but you can see this yellow area on the parts of the surface that are facing away from the camera at a glancing angle. As I rotate around, you can see those colors change based on the facing ratio of the camera to the surface. So if I take the fall off map here and uh, I can make some adjustments here, the skew factor is gonna have the biggest impact. So if I bring this down, you can see more of that green coming through, especially when I start to rotate the surface. And then the minimum value, zero being black, one being white, as I adjust these, you can see if I bring the minimum value all the way up, it's gonna be most of that green color taking over. If I bring the maximum value all the way down, we get that red color taking over. So the other important setting is this mode right here. If I set this to normal versus vector 90 degrees. You can see changes here and you can see how we have red kind of facing on the top and green on the other parts of the surface. So the uh, normal versus vector means that it's normal versus this vector right here. So right now we have one plugged into the y coordinate of the vector. If I set this to minus one, as you might expect, now we see that red color on the bottom. So if I set this to zero and say the X direction to one, we can see that we get more of that red color on the positive X and more of the green color on the opposite side. The other option is normal versus vector 180 degrees, which, which basically expands that range. So again, the vector that's referred to in this mode is this vector down here. So if I set this to zero and set Z to one, then we're gonna get the coloring based on the Z direction in world space. 
Finally, let's take a look at the mix texture. It's an extremely simple texture. And uh, for this part of the video, I'm using the ivy.c4d scene. Very simple, it has an ivy leaf, and you can see one side is kind of shiny and darker colored, and the other side is duller and lighter colored. So representing the bottom of the leaf, and there's also a bump on the top. If you take a look at the actual scene, it's just a single plane with a twist deformer applied to it. Uh, probably couldn't get much more simple than that. So let's take a look at the material that's applied to this. It's a mixed material. So we have a mixed material applied to it. And for the two materials plugged into it, I have a glossy material that has the textures for the top. And also this texture controlling the opacity of the cutout. So it's just a leaf shape in an alpha. I brought in as a float uh, type image. And then on the other material, this is a diffuse material with the textures for the bottom. So the same thing. We have a different color texture for the bottom, roughness, and the bump. And then that same texture is being plugged into the opacity. And the bump is not showing up here, but it is showing up there. So it's definitely working. So these are both being plugged into a mixed material, which is being applied to that plane. And then I have a polygon side texture, which you can find right here. And that's plugged into the amount. And all the side texture does is it says, you know, for the normals facing this direction, apply this material. For the normals facing the opposite direction, apply this material. And that's pretty much it. There's only one option, and that's to invert it. And that does exactly what you'd expect. It just flips them around. There we go. So it's just flipping the sides. And that's really all there is to the side texture. Great for things like leaves or uh, butterfly wings that have two different colors on either side uh, and that kind of stuff. So really, really great for that.